Seeing your phone stuck on a widescreen can be frustrating, but don't worry, this is a common problem especially with iPhones running the latest iOS 18 update. Sometimes new iOS versions can cause small bugs or conflicts which lead to issues like the widescreen. This is Francisco here, your favorite host, and in this video I'll walk you through simple steps to fix this issue, whether it's a software glitch or something more serious. By the end, you'll know how to get your iPhone back to normal, so let's get started. Here are 4 effective solutions to fix iPhone 16 widescreen. No matter if you're dealing with a minor software hiccup or more complex hardware issue, there are various troubleshooting steps that will definitely help you out. First, we'll try some easy solutions that don't take much time, and if those don't work, we'll move on to more advanced methods. So let's dig into the basics. Method number 1. Force Restart First off, we have the Force Restart technique. It's a process where you reboot your device when it's unresponsive or stuck. By doing so, you can fix minor software glitches, frozen screens, and apps that are causing this issue. So don't worry, you won't face any type of issue by restarting the device because it's like giving your phone a quick reset to make it run again smoothly. Hence, if you are wondering how to force restart your iPhone, just follow me. To so hold your iPhone, press and quickly release the volume up button, then push and let go of the volume down button. After that, hold the sleep wake button until the Apple logo appears on your iPhone 16 to force restart it. Method number two, restore in recovery mode. If you're unable to fix minor bugs with force restart, you can try restoring your iPhone in recovery mode. This method can handle all problems on the operating system level, like being stuck on the Apple logo or that it won't turn on properly. Once you put your iPhone in recovery mode, it will fix deep software problems, but you will lose all of your important data. Thus, follow me and see how you can connect your device with iTunes on your PC or Finder on your MacBook. Grab your Apple certified USB-C cable and start by connecting your iPhone to your system. Then launch the iTunes or Finder app on your PC or Mac. Once done, hold your phone and press and quickly release the volume up button. Likewise, tap and let go of the volume down button and temporarily press and release the side button until you access the connect to computer screen. After that, a pop-up will appear on iTunes or Finder where you have to click the Restore button. Later, follow the on-screen instructions and end the restoration process. Once it's done, set up your iPhone from scratch and hopefully you won't face any widescreen issues again. Method number three, check for hardware issues. For some reason, if you still face widescreen on your iPhone 16, there are chances that your hardware has some issues. In that case, you need to check the hardware thoroughly as it helps in identifying the problem that is happening due to physical components failure. Issues like display, battery, or internet chips are major setbacks that can cause widescreens in iPhones. Check for them and determine whether they need to be repaired or replaced. If it turns out that your hardware has any issue, it's better to resolve them as soon as possible so that it won't cause any major damage. However, if you're not exactly sure how to open things up and check things out on your own, don't be afraid to take it to an Apple store or an authorized service repair center so that they can take care of that for you. Method number four, the recommended one, Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS. Now that we have discussed basic methods, you should know that you can lose your valuable data if you opt for the recovery mode solution. Therefore, we have explored an innovative tool that assures you can fix iPhone issues in the limited time without raising data loss concerns. Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS is a cutting edge tool that supports a wide range of toolkits from system repair to screen unlock. For basic fixes like widescreen, it's system repair tool is there to resolve the widescreen issue by upgrading or downgrading iOS without jailbreaking. Not just that, it features three modes of recovery that are standard, advanced, and anti-recovery. Since you're facing the widescreen issue, its standard mode can tackle this problem as it has the capability to resolve 150 plus problems involving iOS or iPadOS. So without wasting any time, let's see how you can make use of its standard repair mode to get your device started like nothing happened. To begin, launch this iPhone repair tool on your operating system and choose System Repair from the toolbox. After that, connect your iPhone with an Apple certified cable and hit the iPhone option on the new screen to determine determine the type of device. Moving on, select iOS Repair from the following window and pick Standard Repair option to fix the widescreen issue without data loss. In this step, you have to put the iPhone in recovery mode by following the on-screen guide. After that, 
tap the recovery mode button and proceed further. Later, this iOS repair tool will automatically detect the iOS firmware to install it on your device. From that screen, hit the download button and wait until it is installed. Once done, click the repair now option and the iOS problems will be, will be repaired after a while. From the following screen, press the done button and hopefully you won't face widescreen issues again. In conclusion, dealing with the widescreen on your iPhone 16 can be frustrating, but there are several effective solutions to try before you panic. In this video, I have discussed all the possible solutions that can assist you in overcoming this frustrating situation. Finally, if you're still facing trouble, I have explored a wonderful tool called Wondershare Doctor Phone System Repair for iOS. Using its system repair tool, you can easily avoid data loss and fix the issue efficiently. And with these methods, you should be able to get your iPhone 16 back to normal. So don't give up if the first solution doesn't work, there's always another option to explore. Until next time, have a great day.